Okay, you're on air. <laughs> yes, I'm Sandra Smedberg and uh, I'm from my stad and I study in Costa. And uh, I'm 29 years old. And what do you want to know? All right, so you're 29 <laughs> years old and here you are living in somebody else's house yeah. um, as if you were one of their children. Yes. How's that experience been? It's been awesome. The origins are a great family, so I feel at home. And they have yeah, done everything for us, so it's just great. Great food and yeah, great stories, yeah, everything. And I'm going to ask this question. You're living in a community called Ocean View. Um, some people would be a little bit afraid, perhaps, of living in, in this community. Um, I'm not sure why, but maybe you want to explore that question a little bit. Yeah, I'm not sure why either. Um, I feel safe walking here. Maybe I shouldn't walk alone at night, but I walked alone at daytime. And yeah, I don't feel unsafe. Feel, yeah, feel like home. Not, not really... Yeah, the people actually are nicer here. <laughs> they stop and talk to you and the kids hug you and yeah, it's really so nice. You taught many at the high school. Yeah. What was that experience like? It was good. Um, the kids are warmer than they are at home, but they are not that fit. <laughs> so it's uh, hard for us to uh, make them participate for the whole session um, but it's it's fun because they they seems to like our kind of way to teach PE because they're not used to our ways so um, I think they liked it so mm. and I enjoyed it very much mm. but it was a challenge sometimes so, but it was nice what were the biggest challenges you had in, in being here being here in general or in PT or let's say in general um, that's hard I don't know really I haven't found anything like that challenging uh, actually I think it's yeah, yeah did, it was a pleasant ride <laughs> did you have any bad experiences while you were here no I don't think so I, I can't I can't come up with anything now so did you have any good experiences while you were here? <laughs> yeah, a lot of them. Of course I had. Uh, it's the people are so warm and um, yeah, the people I will remember the most and the family, of course. Uh, and yeah, yeah, everything. I will remember everything. Um, our trip to town, Table Mountain, Cape Point, um, Robben Island, everything I will remember. So. Yeah. What were the highlights? The highlights were they at the first time we went to Cape Point when we saw the baboons and the baboon pee on your car, <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, just that day when this, we saw the whale jumping out of the water like 50 times, and it was yeah, that just the whole day was amazing. Um, but I had a lot of those good days, the shark cake diving and yeah, the, the Aquila safari and. But just the everyday life is amazing too because you get into this everyday life and with the family and yeah. For somebody thinking about coming here next year, perhaps they're not so sure, mm. what would be your recommendation? I would uh, obviously say that they should do it. It's a once in a lifetime kind of thing uh, to go with the school and get this experience at the schools. Uh, so I would say go for it. Um, of course, maybe they have something at home they don't want to let go, but but I I have like a house and a boyfriend, but eight weeks is not that much, so he will be back. We will be there when I come home, so it will will be worth it. So go for it, I would say. And you're about to go on a two week trip right up the coast and yeah. then all the way up to Johannesburg. Mm -hmm. um, does that scare you in any way? You're on your own <laughs> in a strange country. Yeah, uh, no, I don't think that scares me. I have two boys that <laughs> protects me, but no, I don't think that scares me. Uh, the only thing that would scare me is the bungee jump, <laughs> but I don't think I would do that. Um, we'll see about that.
Mm. But no, it doesn't scare me. It's exciting, just exciting. Nature's Valley and Coffee Bee and everything. Mm. Yeah, because not even the people who live here have seen those places. A lot of them haven't seen those places. So I feel like mm. that's a privilege to just go up the coast and mm. see how the people live there. And because I think that's quite different from here, how they live. Mm. So. Yeah, that's going to be very different. People yeah. living in mud huts. Yeah. Uh, today we spent some time again in Masipomalela. Yeah. Um, we went around the school, Kanya Primary. Mm -hmm. You've not taught there. In fact, all your teaching has been in Ocean View. Mm -hmm. um, perceptions around Masipomalela and the primary school there? It's hard to say. We spent like two hours or something. But yeah, I, probably it would be hard to teach there because the kids come from different backgrounds that hard hard backgrounds and yeah some things that we can't even imagine at home in Sweden mm. um, and the, fa the facilities are not that good so it would probably be hard to teach there but um, I like a challenge too so maybe someday I will, I will try it I don't know Fantastic. <laughs> Yeah, but I, I think the people are warm. Um, I didn't see anyone who who would like to hurt me or something like that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but it's it's a community that quite warm. So, yeah. yeah. Sandra, thanks very much. Yeah, thank you very thank much. You. Thank you.